Jets have named Tim Boyle as the starting quarterback for this Friday against the Dolphins. Zach Wilson finally out. He's not even the backup this week. He won't even dress. He's the third string. Ty Conklin will be the backup. Dolphins come into town. Listen, they couldn't run Zach Wilson out in front of this home crowd on Friday. It's a standalone game that all of America will be watching. Those of you who are not shopping, it wouldn't be pretty. They couldn't, they couldn't do it to him. They couldn't run him out there. He's probably his Jets career is now over. You'll never see him again play for the Jets, barring some kind of, you know, disaster where these two quarterbacks get hurt. But you won't see Zach Wilson in a Jets uniform again. He's, his NFL career could be over. There might be a team out there that gets desperate, wants to give him a chance, maybe a change of scenery, but uh, I, I don't know. It was bad. And and I don't want to hear that the Jets failed them either. Those people that are out there say, wow, the Jets failed Zach Wilson as much as he failed them. No. Jets got him a top defense. Jets got him top picks on the offensive line. They got him a good running back. They got him good receivers. The Jets did not fail Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson failed the Jets. He was a number two pick. They made it so he had to be average to below average to win some games, to keep them in games. He couldn't even do that. Now, the, it's the coach's fault that he played this long. It's the management's fault that they got nobody besides him to back up Aaron Rodgers, a 39-year-old quarterback. But as far as that, that's where they failed the Jets fans and the Jets team. That they had to go to Zach Wilson when Aaron Rodgers went down. Because that was a that's a that's not who you want to go to. The last year this team told the media, they told everybody, they told the world that we don't like Zach Wilson, we don't trust Zach Wilson. They came out and they said it. And then coming into this year with a 39-year-old quarterback, they couldn't get anybody else. That's that's where the that's the mistake. And then he went and then Rodgers went down four plays into the season, and you were stuck with Zach Wilson. And every once in a while, he'd have a flash here or a flash there of some good throws or good drives, and that would just give him an extra two weeks. The fact that they waited until Thanksgiving to end this disaster is a shame on them. And it's a, and it's a shame for the Jets fans, and it's a shame for the other 52 players on that team. That defense works its ass off. They, I think they're a little overrated. They might not be the best tacklers. They might give up some points, but they, they're tired. That's going to happen when you're on the field constantly. Jets go three and out. One first down, punt. Three and out, punt. All game. Every game. They're watching. I mean, how many times can you watch Zach Wilson throw a screen pass that's there open for 20, 30 yards right at the feet of the lineman? Ditch it into the ground. He just made, he hasn't grown a bit. He hasn't grown at all a quarterback in these three years. You thought maybe he was advancing a little bit when he came out. He said, oh, I'm learning a lot from, from Aaron Rodgers. He had the whole training camp with Rodgers. He didn't learn nothing. and went in one ear and right out the other. The Jets have screwed up now two straight top 10 quarterback picks, and they've set their franchise back a decade. And now you might not see it. You're going to see it the rest of this year, but you're not going to, you might not see it next year or the following year if Rodgers performs the way you think Rodgers will because then they'll be a good team. But after that, you're going to feel it. They're going to go right back from being from being a good team with Rodgers to, to just tanking because they're not going to have a quarterback. And I don't know what they're going to do now. They are, they, you know, they, they're game under 500. They still have one loss left, I guess, to play with before they're pretty much officially eliminated. But that could, that's going to probably happen Friday. They're not going to compete with, with the Dolphins. They got blown out by the Bills. So, you know, you couldn't run Zach Wilson out there. This When he got pulled, he obviously knew that that was it. Brett was wondering on the show the other day if, if he's going to, if he's officially out. Of course he's officially out. Once they pulled him out of the game, that was it. You can't put him back in. What's your reason for putting him back in? You don't have one. So, listen, the Jets screwed this season up royally. Royally. They didn't fail. They didn't fail Zach Wilson. They failed the rest of the team. Because they have a decent team. They also failed where they let when they let Aaron Rodgers dictate who was coming in here, who's going to be the offensive coordinator, who's going to be my receivers, who's going to be my running back. Listen, you, we're bringing you in as quarterback. We're paying you a lot of money. You're gonna, we'll listen to who you want. But he was basically the GM in the offseason. I want this guy, I want this guy, I want this guy, I want this guy running the show. 
because they all stink. Lazard stinks. Lazard drops a ball. Zach Wilson doesn't throw many good balls. But every one he does, Lazard drops. The offensive coordinator stinks. We knew Sean Payton was right about him when he was mouthing off in the summer about him. He's never been good. And they just let Aaron Rodgers run the show, bring in who he wants. The running back has already left. Who he wants, when he wants, what he wants to do. They're going to get complete autonomy of whatever he wanted. And then four plays into the season, he's gone. And now he's stuck with it. He's stuck with the Aaron Rodgers offense with a crappy quarterback, with a crappy offensive coordinator, with receivers that can't catch, with running backs that don't care anymore. And the whole thing went to hell. And the Jets did nothing about it. They just went full steam ahead, continued to embarrass themselves week after week after week. And somehow they kept themselves in a playoff race until, or at least relevant until Thanksgiving. Well, the bottom's now falling out after the bye week. It's, it's all been disaster. They had one, they had two good games. They beat the Eagles and they, they played well against the Chiefs. Other than that, it's been terrible. It's been unwatchable. That Bills game the other day was completely unwatchable. And then they scored, they finally scored a touchdown. Finally. After how many quarters and how many games? And instead of just kicking the field goals, like you put a seven on the board, they go for two. And they miss it, of course. What, you think you're going to gain three yards? Just can't get, gain three yards. Not for two points. So you got Tim Boyle now. And listen, Tim Boyle's no good either. It's not going to be much better. The only thing that makes Tim Boyle good in any mind of Jets fans or their players is that he's not Zach Wilson. They could throw anybody out there and they'd be and they'd be happy with it because it's not Zach Wilson. They don't believe in Zach Wilson. They never believed in Zach Wilson. And the fact that they were able to keep their mouths shut up into through 11 weeks of this is amazing to me. And they should give credit for that. Because that defense, any defense is pissed. You know they were pissed internally. You know they were. They had to be talking to each other. The defense played well. Kept them in a couple games. I think they're overrated because they can't tackle. People get uh, loose in the secondary. But it could also be because they're tired. They're constantly on the field. The time of, Look at the time of possession in some of these games. It's a disaster. So that's the Jets. It's not going to get much better at the end of the season. They're going to probably lose most of their games. And we're right back to where we were two years ago. Now the Jets have Aaron Rodgers next year. That could be a beacon of hope. But it could also not be as good as you think it's going to be. He's going to be 40 years old. Coming off a torn Achilles. Missed the entire season. What Aaron Rodgers are you going to get? Maybe, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you get the great Aaron Rodgers. Or Hall of Fame MVP Aaron Rodgers. Maybe. Or maybe you get a guy who's 40 years old, who's past his prime, who just missed the whole season, coming off major surgery, and he's not that good. And then, then what do you do? You're going to run Tim Boyle out there? You can't pull Aaron Rodgers. So the Jets, as always, as usual, are a mess.